Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Ad Exchanger webinar, Do Cross the Screens, Why Digital Marketing Channels Work Better Together. Gotta love a good Ghostbusters reference. I'm Hana Yu, and I'm a senior editor at Ad Exchanger. Thank you so much for carving the time out of your busy schedules to tune into our webinar today. Before we dive in, we just have a couple of housekeeping items I'd like to go through. First, if you have any questions after the presentation or even during, just type those questions in the Q&A tab. And if you have any technical concerns at all, please put them at the chat tab and someone from our production team will address them. And it is now my pleasure to introduce our presenters, Madeline Curto, Taylor Neufer, and Craig Riding. Madeline is a director of agency channel sales at Mountain. She has worked with a variety of brands to diversify their media mixes and turn CTV into a performance channel. Taylor is the VP of growth at Chamber Media where he leads sales, partnerships, customer success, and overall growth strategy as part of the executive team. Craig is the director of paid media at Chamber Media. He has extensive experience coordinating paid media efforts and developing omni-channel strategies across diverse industries and many different forms of media. And for our presentation today, um, our presenters will be discussing the benefits of an omni-channel marketing strategy. They'll be speaking to how CTV, social, and search perform better together and why putting CTV at the center of your strategy can enhance digital marketing performance. And I believe we're starting with uh, Madeline. So Madeline, please take it away. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Madeline, and I was going to talk about how CTV keeps growing and growing. Historically, advertising on television has been in the domain of awareness and reach-based campaigns. But connected TV has changed that because unlike linear TV, CTV is a scalable performance marketing channel that combines the precision of digital channels with the prestige of advertising on the living room screen. This allows everyone from brands to agencies and their clients to get into the TV advertising game on a digital advertising budget. Brands and agencies have the opportunities to get into the CTV advertising game at an inflection point in the industry because CTV's growth keeps growing and growing. Over the past several years, streaming on connected TV devices has become the norm. This has resulted in an increase in US connected TV users, as well as an increase in time spent watching CTV. This has unsurprisingly led to an overall increase in CTV ad spend as well. These numbers really speak for themselves. CTV is growing fast and brands and agencies of all sizes are already benefit, benefiting from its performance capabilities. One important aspect of CTV that's rarely discussed, but can be a major driver for agencies to win more CTV and performance budgets is how the platform can positively impact other marketing channels. Because CTV is a true performance channel, just like search and social, agencies and their clients can focus TV campaigns on performance metrics that matter to them, like site visits or ROAS. During our first party data, we looked at advertisers who leveraged CTV, paid search, and paid social to examine how adding CTV to their ad mix impacted performance on the two other channels. Our analysis found that conversion rates increased by 9% and 22% for paid search and paid social, and the average session duration increased by 49% and 19%. Simply put, CTV can be the focus point of an omni-channel media strategy as it creates a true halo effect among all your other media channels. This is something that brands should consider when weighing the potential of the platform. A good example is if you're sitting on your couch, you're watching a TV ad, you're getting a dedicated 15 to 30 seconds to really educate your customer on your offering. Once they get that immediate education, all your channels from search to social are there to remind them and encourage them to click through. So now you're letting channels lift the way they were designed to lift and you're really giving them that assist to let the user drive down the funnel. Naturally, this positive performance is assisted by cross-device user behavior. Agencies and their clients can take a multi-touch approach, extending the message of a high-impact TV creative beyond the living room screen to more household devices. This is important as many viewers watch TV with a second device in hand. So keep cross-device behavior in mind when planning CTV ads with an overall digital strategy. 
taking an omni-channel approach where you deploy fresh, consistent messaging across all your different marketing touch points creates a singular ongoing conversation for your audience to engage with and respond to. The result is better performance, according from our data of Mountain's top advertisers who leverage messaging across performance TV and paid social, they were able to deliver strong performance and increase paid social conversion rates by 25%. Awesome, Madeline. Turn it over to me. Turn it over to you, Craig. Fantastic. Um, thanks for that. Thanks for that. You know, the first thing we'll share is, you know, here at Chamber Media, we're absolutely delighted about this kind of new partnership we have with Mountain, um, and um, the great success we're seeing together uh, so far as as we've launched this this partnership, and, and really excited to kind of participate in this webinar together. Um, we really see that Chamber Media is the absolute leader in this space when it comes to creating creative making creative that converts and digital channels and see mountain is a major player in this space when it comes to ctv um and really uh making things work from a connected tv standpoint and getting conversions there um sometimes we get a question about you know well tell me more about chamber or what makes chamber media different again we see ourselves as the best in the space and making creative that really converts um we what what's unique about us is we have fantastic creative, a creative team, as well as an ad buying media strategy team all in one house that operate virtually as one team. What's that, what that allows us to do is to be really growth focused for the brands that we work with. Um, we sit down with brands, we identify what are your growth goals? Where do you want to get to as a brand holistically? With that, we're highly data driven. So we take data seriously as we make the creative and as we build out the strategies from the ad side. And then the third thing that makes us pretty different and unique is we're highly iterative. So we're always testing and trying new things, which is a strategy that works really well across our channels, across social, across search, and now connected TV. Um, about us a little bit more, 2013, we were founded. We have hundreds of active clients across B2B space, as well as heavily in the e-commerce B2C space. Um, and see ourselves as a true omni-channel agency across, again, search, social, and connected TV. Um, one, of the, one of the questions that I've got asked is, you know, what, what makes us excited about connected TV generally? Uh, why, what is so exciting about connected TV as another channel, as an agency at Chamber Media? And a, a few things come to mind there. One, connected TV is kind of the, the, the best of both worlds when it comes to linear TV, traditional linear TV, as well as social channels. From a linear TV standpoint, there's, there's a certain brand prestige that comes from being on a big screen on linear TV. Um, the, other, the other good thing about linear TV is it's, it's hard to skip ads, right? You don't skip ads on linear TV and connected TV brings that. Uh, from a linear TV standpoint. What linear doesn't have is that that kind of social does have is the targeting capabilities, the tracking, the data-driven approach, um, attribution, finding your audiences. Now, when I say kind of connected TV and, and mountain is the best of both worlds, it's because it has those things. Um, it has the brand prestige that comes from um, that, that all linear also provides, but also has some of the tracking and attribution capabilities that comes with social. So that that's what makes us really excited about this. And frankly, I don't know if you know if you haven't already check out Chamber Media, check out the video and the creative that we do. But our creative just looks really good on the big screen, right? It, it's we our creative team is the best in the world. We do great work. We make great creative that really converts for our clients and drives revenue. And um, and it works on social, it works on the mobile device, it works really well and it looks really good on TV, in the family room. So those are the, some of the things and the opportunities that we saw in partnering with Mountain and um, leveraging connected TV more with, um, with our brands that we work with our partners. So I'm gonna do a quick pause there. Craig, do you wanna kind of jump in and talk a little bit about kind of your perspective on the importance of connected TV as part of like this omni-channel marketing approach um, and how you see connected TV fitting um, with these strategies? 
Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Connected TV has started to become one of our one of our key platforms that we like to run on the on the ad team. Right. Uh, you know, when, when it comes to omni channel, um, that can be that can be taken in a lot of different ways. Right. Omni channel focusing on on running on multiple platforms and factoring in a strategy that that works across multiple platforms. Um, the way we like to use CTV is as as an audience builder and a conversion driver. That factors in immensely into our strategies, especially, you know, uh, the, the higher we go in scale, uh, just because it has wonderful targeting capabilities, right? People aren't able to just immediately scroll past to the next video. Um, you know, people always have, have extra phones or uh, screens in their hand while they're watching connected TV, um, but it's still in the background, you know, at the very least. And so any, any time we're able to target those people and land on their screen, um, we can we can drive that engagement. We can drive that consideration, um, and ultimately build more trust within our audience as we tackle you know uh, getting in front of them across multiple platforms, whether that be Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Google. As long as we're able to be there and drive that consideration and show that we're an actual presence across multiple platforms, we've always just seen significantly higher uh, conversion rates and, and better returns across the board. Awesome. Craig, would you mind talking about maybe just for, for time's sake, share maybe one key success story that we've seen on connected TV, um, leveraging Mountain in this omni-channel type approach? Absolutely. Yeah, I've got one that comes to mind. It would be in the fit fitness industry. Uh, what we did is is we, we, we had a big anniversary sale coming up. And so we spent some time thinking about it and how we wanted to approach it. Uh, last year, 2022, we, we ran the anniversary sale and didn't quite get the, the results that we were hoping for. So we knew that we needed to take a different approach this, this go around. And CTV is what came to mind. We thought that we'd be able to be a little bit more targeted, put a little bit more money behind our advertising and be a little bit more strategic. So we started thinking about it about 90 days in advance. We, we partnered with, with Mountain, got their pixel installed on our website. I, they, they recommend you have it there for about 30 days so you can start building those audiences. So we, we definitely planned it out and started um, our preparations 90 days in advance. Um, got the pixel on the site and then we started running um, about 60 days, 45 to 60 days in advance on CTV, as well as really driving audience building campaigns and strategies on other platforms, really just focusing on getting that consideration early on before we hit them with the sale. So we come in, uh, we run CTV, uh, did a lot of testing to figure out what audiences we got the, the most engagement and most uh, um, consideration through. And by that time, uh, we, we kind of knew that this was this was going to be a home run. So we start running and then the time comes and we, we, we were only planning on running the sale for about a week. You know, the anniversary sale is never anything too crazy, but we do put a lot of spend behind it. Um, and uh, with with CTV, we noticed that not only were we getting more consideration, more website visits across the board, but we also started getting more more engagement across our other platforms, which which took me off guard a little bit. I was we, we started seeing a lot more comments, a lot more likes and a lot more just engagement from the community across the board on our on our social platforms as they were able to see us across all these different spaces. Um, and so the time comes that we, we launched the sale and we just we, we, we can't keep scaling fast enough we couldn't we couldn't keep up with the amount of revenue that we were driving um and ended up doing about 92 percent over year over year uh increase in revenue driven from from paid ads and and just overall revenue generated for the sale and ended up uh with ctv we were able to push the length of the sale um from a week-long sale to a month-long sale getting healthy healthy conversions the entire way through um, yeah, like I said, we increased revenue about 92% year over year uh, and brought in uh, well over like $1.92 million with that strategy in a single month. That's fantastic. Um, from one, one of the questions that I sometimes get as we're thinking about creative, as we're thinking about using leveraging CTV is, you know, do we take a different creative strategy um, there? And what kind of creative do we do we use on connected TV? And one of the mistakes that I sometimes see when when brands and agencies do connected TV creative 
is they don't maybe take enough of an audience-based approach when it comes to making the creative and and leveraging their creative. So they they kind of treat create connect, uh, connected TV still like linear, where it's pretty broad audiences. Um, but one of the things we recommend from a creative standpoint when 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 leveraging connected TV as well as social is really nail down who is your target audience. What is your target messaging and get really targeted when it comes to the creative approach that we use there. Um, the other thing too, is people are used to from a linear standpoint when making creative from a, for, for linear is uh, they may be investing one or two assets, uh, branding assets that, um, and, and, and kind of let them fly and see how they go. We, um, we recommend taking much more of an iterative testing approach. Um, similar that you would you do on social um, with connected TV. So try different hooks, test different calls to action. Um, make sure you have a lot of fresh content that you're continuing to test and try along the way. I'm thinking of one apparel company um, that we partnered with, um, with connected TV. And they, they did that. They tried different calls to action, um, different hooks, and um, experienced like a six six x ROAS from from CTV from a pot, uh, prospecting campaign twenty one uh, ROAS on retargeting twenty one twenty one x ROAS so that's something we heavily recommend as we take this iterative approach when making creative for connected TV as well uh, as social the creative really needs to sing and really needs to do well on um, on connected TV because we're trying to make sure we capture that attention and that they don't just go to their phones and ignore the ads. Right. You know, it's, we have, um, you know, they're not, they're, they're, you can't skip uh, CTV ads. You can't skip linear, but you need to maintain that attention. So having those hooks to grab that attention early and often and keep that attention is critically important when considering like the creative that you use on connected TV. Um, and some other kind of rules of thumb to think about Always, when it comes to making creative that really converts and drives revenue is make sure that, again, your product or service is the hero. Uh, it's center stage. Um, let it really sing. Don't get too distracted in kind of the branding or the storytelling where the product or service doesn't really sing through um, and become the hero. Other tactical things is including logo, branding in the corner. Um, URL, so they know where to go to access it. So you get that D to C aspect of it. Um, and, you know, when it makes sense with your brand, we highly recommend a highly engaging, humorous uh, approach that really grabs the attention and keeps the attention in the ad. Um, putting you on the spot here, Craig, but anything you would add there when it comes to creative recommendations for Connected TV, or did I kind of hit some of the main points? I think you hit, you know, the majority of the main points there, you know, it's, it's, one thing that can be kind of misconstrued across the board is that we have to have super high production value content to run on CTV, right? You need to have this quarter million dollar video that you you have have to have to to run on TV, and that's just not the case. We've we've compiled videos of UGCs, and and you know, of course, you gotta you gotta format it and everything to to fit the platform. You don't want to just throw a, a nine by sixteen up on a sixteen by nine screen; it doesn't look super great. But um, you can you can use so much content across the board, but it, it really does boil down to you need to focus on the hook, you need to focus on the call to action, uh, and, and addressing the pain points yeah. in, the, in the video. Yeah, one of the things that you know we we believe firmly is you know about connected TV is is the barriers to entry are are lower than and then maybe a lot of brands maybe realize, and uh, especially from a creative standpoint, um, we can you know there there can be to Craig's point we we want to take an iterative and testing approach early and often quickly so we can get to the right sales messaging, scale spend and scale production to make sure it really meets um, kind of the brand messaging that you're wanting to, to, to hit long-term and to really grow the brand. Um, and so that's a great recommendation. Another recommendation too, obviously, is, is include social proof within the ad, um, just really tactically. To, uh, that has a major impact in the ad performance, both in connected TV as well as social. Um, any other thoughts, Craig, as we're thinking about this, any final thoughts or advice you have to share with other businesses who are considering connected TV in their marketing mix? Um, it's really good. I like to, I like to think of CTV as a, as a really powerful support platform, 
right? Um, it, it, it can drive its own conversions and everything like that, but we found it, it to be uh, most successful when we paired it with, with other platforms such as, as Facebook, YouTube, Google. Um, Cause you know, with, with social media platforms, Google, everything's so clickable. Everything's so easy to go through. You can do a, a ton of research in an instant just on your phone. Um, but it almost, it almost becomes information overload. And so that's where CTV comes in. You kind of narrow in on a specific video for a short amount of time. You narrow in on, on just one specific thing and it gets people thinking about that one specific product or service. Um, and then, you know, from there they go and do their own research after watching that and getting all the information they need. And, and, and that's when you capture them with like Google or Facebook. So I find it to be an extremely powerful uh, platform, um, especially when used in an omni-channel approach. Fantastic. Appreciate it, Craig. Um, moving on, Matt, I'm going to pass it back over to you. Yeah, so really the takeaways here are that Connected TV is a performance-driven platform. We're really marrying the precision of digital advertising um, with the capability to be on the living room screen. And then streaming is really becoming the norm for TV audiences. Uh, as you know, most audiences are cutting the cord and streaming is where more eyeballs are watching. And then lastly, CTV advertising is really creating a halo effect. I think to Craig's point, just about how, you know, it's all about an omni-channel approach. You can't just move all your budget into um, one, one media platform, but rather what does your mix look like and how can you tell one consistent message across all these different channels. Now we are moving into Q&A. Um, I know that we have a chat if anyone would like to post some questions um, and we are able to answer them for you. Yeah, so just, just as a quick note before we jump into the Q&A, um, Mountain has provided several questions for your perusal just at your leisure to all attendees and you can just find them under that handouts tab that you'll see to your, to your right. Um, so the, the first question that's come in is, does CTV really drive better engagement than social? And if so, how does that work? I'll, uh, I can tackle this one. I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say it drives more engagement. Um, cause the, when I, when I think of the word, the, the term engagement, I think, you know, likes, comments, shares, stuff like that. I, I think of, of YouTube and Facebook. Um, however, I, I, would say that it, it does drive a lot of consideration. It can be, it's a, it's a very powerful platform. Um, what we do find is that it drives more engagement on other platforms, like I was saying earlier. Um, so while it while it, we don't see immediate engagement off of the bat, we do notice an uptick in, in the consideration driven across the, the, the board, across all platforms, more comments. We find that the community becomes a lot more engaged overall as, as you know, they find us as, as a more legitimate in this space. You know, uh, we find all the time that, that when people see us on CTV or TV in general, they think of us as, as a lot more trustworthy. And so when they see us as trustworthy and then they see us on another platform like Facebook, YouTube, uh, Google, so on and so forth, they're a lot more likely to engage and share their opinions there. This is uh, somewhat related. If if I do add CTV to my marketing mix, how do I know that it's CTV that I can credit for driving results, not other channels? Yeah, that's that's where it gets to be a little difficult, right? Attribution across the board isn't perfect, right? Facebook attribution is not perfect. Google attribution is not perfect. Um, uh, you know, Mountains attribution isn't. 100% perfect either. Uh, we that's that's when we like to use different metrics like marketing efficiency ratios to determine how much spend we put into a platform and what type of impact that has on the overall overall revenue uh, as a whole. Uh, if if you know you find that your spend goes up and your your revenue doesn't go up, then there's clearly a disconnect there, uh, and you're not getting the attribution you need. Um, whereas if you do see uh, if you do increase do a marginal increase on spend and you see a marginal increase on revenue, it's it's uh, it's pretty cut and dry to see where that, that revenue is coming from. I can share a bit more on Mountain's attribution model, which revolves around verified visits. And it's really helping brands see 
the visit attribution that's deduped with other marketing efforts. Um, so if someone sees your CTV ad, then goes directly to your website on their mobile device, that would count towards your campaign. But however, if someone sees your CTV ad, then visits your Facebook page or any other paid medium source and clicks the link to your website, that wouldn't count towards Mountain. So we actually live in a last touch environment um, and that speaks a bit to the overall halo effect that you'll see through this omni-channel approach. Um, but you know, as Craig says, everyone's attribution model is a little bit different, um, but it will drive results to uh, like right from CTV uh, in your Google source medium report. Um, and what are the KPIs that you're looking at for CTV? Um, the KPIs I like to look for, um, Really, I mean, ROAS is always a, a pretty powerful run, right? Like ROAS is king uh, across the board, but we also like to see, you know, like uh, total watch times, um, click through rates. I mean, it, across, it's kind of tough. It really comes down to the objective that you're going for. Um, of course, we're always trying to drive something. Um, so I would say I would say CPAs and ROAS are the ones I, I, I like to focus on because Mountain does offer an amazing attribution model um, that, that we do enjoy quite a bit here at Chamber Media. Um, so I would say, you know, the primary uh, like CPA, ROAS, ROI is, uh, is the KPIs I focus on. Yeah. And to piggyback off that, I think CTV inherently gets uh gets in, in, intertwined with upper funnel tactics like reach, awareness, but it's really our, our initiative to make CTV um, a, a true performance platform. Um, this way we can have, you know, ROAS or CPA goals attached right. to the campaigns that you're gonna launch. Um, say that I'm a small brand or agency and I want to scale my video output to fuel CTV campaigns, what advice would you have for, for me? Yeah, what we're, well, I, I can take this one if that's okay with you guys. Um, you know, what we're seeing for smaller brands that's working really well, where they're, they're trying to test out budget is we take a test and messaging test and iterated, iterative approach. So um, we, 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 brands come to us and they, you know, from any, anywhere from a $500,000 production, they want a big branding asset. They want something to really show on, on linear and connected TV, top of funnel that's, that has a lot of longevity. And we absolutely do those really, really large productions. For these smaller brands um, uh, that, are, that are getting started in the space, we often recommend that we start a little bit smaller and we iterate on smaller productions. And we really have creative packages and options for really any size of company. But starting at these smaller productions to test sales messaging and to test different hooks and calls to action to make sure we narrow in on exactly what's working best is the, the approach that we typically take. Um, and excited to, and, and happy to share more about kind of what that looks like. Yes, um, another somewhat related question to this is, you know, if I have a limited budget for video creative, mm -hmm. what recommendations do you have if I want to kick off my first CTV campaign? Yeah, and uh, great question. Craig, Madeline also kind of shared some insights here, but my, my recommendation here is um, you don't need really a, a half a million dollar, $250,000 production to get started on connected TV. Um, similar to social, there are ways that we can work with different assets and create assets at a lower budget to, to really communicate the message test different sales messaging and start to scale. And at that point, we can start to move into larger productions to really communicate your brand to larger audiences in a prospecting way. But there's a lot that we can do with smaller, smaller budgets to test, to test early, test often, to make sure we find the right fit for your brand and you find your right audiences um, to really communicate and grow the brand from there. Craig, anything you would add to that? No, no, I think you hit it. I, oh, yeah. It's when we talk about CTV, it, you know, it, it gets related to, to normal TV um, a lot. And, and, and TV is like the most quantity based platform there is. Right. Just going and advertising on regular cable. Um, it's all quantity. Yeah. And it's like kind of hit or miss at times, whereas CTV kind of kind of bridges the gap between, you know, the digital world and the old kind of cable world. Uh, so so the it's you've got so many more targeting capabilities. You know, I'd relate it more towards like a social media platform as far as the ad buying side goes. 
Um, so it really is pretty simple to understand to get in there. And it's not like you need some crazy $500,000 budget to get started. I mean, I wouldn't recommend you run something at like $2 a day, but, um, you know, uh, you definitely don't need $2,000 a day to run on CTV either. Yeah. And when it comes to the creative portion, I would also mention don't cross out post-production. The assets that you work on other platforms or the assets that are working on other platforms, yeah. you can just breathe new life into them with um, some post-production work that can get them CTV ready so that you're not, you know, shelling out X amount of budget just to get on the platform. Yeah. Um, we'll work with you to try to remove barriers to make sure that at least you could test out the platform. Yeah. That's a great recommendation. When we work with brands, we'll often do that and build out our packages as we partner with them to make sure that the creative that we make can live well across different platforms um, and having those cut downs, the right sizes where they can live both on connected TV, on social channels, et cetera. So that's a great recommendation too. And you all had touched a little bit on targeting. Um, we have another audience question. How specific can we get in terms of targeting? Yeah, I can take that question. Um, so Mountain actually has an Oracle integration. We have over 80,000 audiences uh, you can choose from. Um, so really, you can get very, very specific. You can also upload CRM lists. Um, I'm sure if there's an audience that's top of mind for you, we have it. I've seen some pretty intricate and interesting ones. And you'll be able to work with uh, your leaders on the Mountain side to understand uh, more about your brand, what audiences that we recommend, um, and you can get super uh, targeted and specific when it comes to who you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Madeline has been in Mountain has been a great resource to our agency at building out audience planning and audience suggestions um, for our brands. And, and so um, we've seen a lot of great success there. You can also see where the conversions are coming from on an audience level. So this way you can you know, double down on what's performing for you and learn a bit more about your brand um, from who's, who's not performing for you. Um, the next question is about how does length of time for an ad, so how long an ad is, affect engagement or ROI or ROI? I can I can take this one. I've actually I've been having several conversations with our with our creative team in regards to this, um, and and ultimately like there there's definitely minor variations, but but we've never seen major impacts on engagement rates, view times, um, or through plays um, across the board on any platform uh, when it comes to length. I mean, of course, if you're going to be running a ten minute ad. You're probably not going to have a lot of people watching all 10 minutes, but when we're talking 30 seconds versus a minute 15, um, we, we don't see too much difference. It's or at least it's very marginal uh, in regards to engagement and, and through plays um, or people watching the entire thing and clicking through. Um, we've never been able to dial in on any specific KPI or data that points to longer videos result in less engagement. And that's specifically right for social, right, uh, Craig? Yes, yeah, yeah. Social, even even on CTV, we run we run shorter, longer, and we've never seen too too many too many differences across the board um, when it comes to uh, video length, uh, engagement, click through rates, and stuff like that. Yeah, now but the only thing I would say there is, um, oftentimes the recommended length that we recommend, you know, whether it be a fifteen second spot or a thirty second spot. Uh, often depends on kind of the, the key messaging you're trying to, to, to communicate. If it's a shorter branding type asset, asset, um, then maybe the 15 second spot is what we recommend versus more where it requires more explanation. Um, is, is we might recommend more the 30 or longer, uh, 30 second spot or longer, longer ad. But though, there's a few different factors that impact the recommended look. I would also mention just every brand performs really differently. Um, so but at the heart of it, just test as much as you can, as uh, Taylor was saying, like test frequently, test fast, um, because then you can learn what to do in your future campaigns. Yeah, that's interesting that um, every brand might have a different sweet spot when it comes to ad life, and you just wouldn't know until you tried. Um, uh, the, the next question is, uh, how different is CTA, CTV, sorry, <laughs> how different is CTV creative um, as compared to paid social creative? Um, not, not anything too different. I mean, I'll, I'll speak to this just, just a little bit. Um, what we've seen is that, you know, I've, we've tried running like even UGC stuff and, and we do find that we get a little bit more 
um, runway on on social when it comes to kind of UGC style uh, videos, um, whereas we get a little bit more runway on CTV with the higher production. Um, but we do notice that like I, I, we, we've run all different types of videos on CTV and seen success out of almost every single one. And that ties us back into using your paid social creative on CTV. I think they need a little bit of like a massage to get them CTV ready, but you can still, you know, add a little bit of post-production effort to them in order to, to get them ready for the big screen. Um, and it's just a lot less of an investment if you're just trying to test out the platform. We've, we've seen, um, you know, just thinking anecdotally, you know, we've seen we've seen, seen success and we talked about social proof, the importance of having social proof. And this is agnostic to social as well as uh, CTV, but leveraging kind of UGC styles, social proof within branding assets can be powerful. Um, but there's a lot of congruence between the platforms we've seen as we've we've uh, made creative uh, for both connected TV and social. Um, but as to Craig's point, um Linear and connected TV is more, a little bit more prestige, right? There's prestige there for being on the big screen, being on the family room TV. So we've seen that more branded, high, high branded, high quality, higher production assets um, tend to live really well there um, because of that sense of prestige. Um, and then, but complementing it, of course, with, with other, with an omni-channel approach across social and different types of ads. Um, lower down the funnel can be really powerful. Um, broadly speaking, when should a brand consider doing CTV? Greg, you want to jump in there? I see. Yeah, your yeah I can take this one. Um, yeah, it's a little tough, right? Because every brand's different. There's, there's, there's no specific indicator that that is going to fire off and yell at you to try CTV. Um, I always recommend you test it. It's, it's never the first platform I recommend someone jump on. Um, if you're, if you're just starting out, you're just starting, you know, your company or something, um, probably not the first one I would start off with, but if you're at a point where, you know, you're, you're, you've got your Facebook on, you've got your other channels going and you're, you're, you're struggling to figure out how you can make everything better, increase your ROI as a whole and overall increase your presence and grow your, your business and scale. Uh, that's when I would consider doing CTV. Um, you know, it's, it's, I can't, I can't really give any specific, you know, spend mark or anything cause every brand's different, you know? And, uh, but I, I, I would recommend it if you're, if you're looking at different platforms to branch out into, or you're, you're feeling like you're starting to hit a ceiling on other platforms. CTV is the best way to go in there, increase audience sizes, increase your presence across the board and overall just, just add your, your name out into the world um, as, as a contributor. Yeah, from my perspective, if you're running paid search, if you're running paid so social, you're a good candidate for performance television as well. And the only, the last thing I'll add there is, is you know, we'd welcome the conversation. Just reach out to us um, and we can explore if, if kind of identify kind of readiness of your brand um, and explore a kind of a CTV omnichannel strategy. Happy to chat about that and see if you're a good, good fit. It looks like we have a final question from an agency perspective. What are your clients asking about CTV? Are there any questions you've noticed come up again and again? Hmm. Um, I'll, I'll let I'll let Craig and Madeline jump in here in a minute if they have anything to add. But I, I continue to get questions about um, kind of creative recommendations that we talked about before. Well, what creative works well? What creative doesn't work well? Um, and hopefully we kind of answer some of those questions today. Um, but making sure that, you know, we, we continue to, um, to test and iterate over time and collect data. So we're taking a data driven approach when it comes to your creative on CTV. Um, it lives really well on the big screen. Um, our, our, our creative lives really well on connected TV, but we do recommend that we take a data driven approach, um, and test different messaging and concepts as we nail down exactly what will work well. Anything yeah. else you'd add to that, Madeline or Craig? 
I would just say the biggest questions I get is oftentimes just like the inherent thought that CTB is an upper funnel tactic. Um, and it's just that education of showing them what the mountain platform looks like, showing that you can have goals tied directly to uh, lower funnel uh, metrics like ROAS or CPA goals. Um, so that's probably the biggest thing I get. Like this is, isn't linear television. We have targeting and reporting just like you would any other digital platforms. Um, so that's mainly the, the questions that I get. Craig, anything to add? Um, no, yeah, the biggest questions I get are just how much should I spend, what type of creative should I run, and what can I expect as far as performance goes. And I think I think we've touched on on yeah. all that pretty much pretty well. So. Uh, so another question actually has come in. If you were to recommend a test, what would it be? It really depends on the advertiser. Um, like, what are you spending on other channels? Um, what does your media mix look like? And then I just think every client deserves a more like a more like massaged approach into getting into CTV and a more custom approach. So you could work with Chamber Media to understand, you know, what's your creative budget on every other channel? How can we make the right creative for you guys? And you could work with Mountain um, to understand what are you spending across your other channels? What would make sense for a test here? Um, so it, it really depends or everything's a little bit custom. And, and this should go without saying, but, you know, from a creative standpoint, you know, we, we, we recommend we at least A-B test right away. You know, we want to maybe have a unique with a variation or two to test um, to get started, just very tactically there. To add on to that one just a little bit, you know, I, it's whenever, whatever someone kind of asks about a test on CTV or anything, the, the one thing I always like to, to touch on is, is time. If you're gonna run any test on CTV, whether that's for retargeting, top of funnel, any sort of effort, or just test, testing out your creative, um, I always recommend at least like 30 to 60 days. Like you need to give it time. You know, Mountain always recommends putting a pixel on and build audiences for 30 days prior to any sort of launch. You know, CTV isn't one of those things that, that works immediately overnight. It is one of those things that compounds and, and builds off of the efforts that it made yesterday and the, the efforts that are being made in other platforms as well. For sure. I double tap that, Craig. Um, and that's all the, the questions we have for now. Um, but Madeline Taylor and Craig, do you have anything you'd like to add or share? Nothing really. I'll just close by saying really delighted about this partnership that we have with Mountain. Mountain, Mountain is an absolute, it's a great organization, great people to work with. We like working with them and, um, and, uh, recommend taking an omni-channel approach for our for the brands that we work with yeah and we are really glad everyone came to spend about 45 minutes with us today um and right back to chamber media it's been great working with these guys and seeing some success across the board and helping their partners win um, across multiple channels um and so to all attendees just so you know we'll be sending out an on-demand recording of this webinar um, probably sometime this afternoon Thank you so much to our three presenters and to everyone in the audience for joining us. Until next time, goodbye, everyone.